Don't you have some Brazilian model to entertain? I got bored with her. Wow, you're usually so good with women who have less than two brain cells to rub together. <laughs> what can I say? I'm growing. What do you want? Can I come in? No. What, you're gonna make your boss stand in your doorway? No, I'm gonna make him go home and talk to me in the office tomorrow. That almost led to kissing today. But I'd much rather it lead to that in your apartment. That's not gonna happen. Why not? Because you're my boss. Blaine, Zoe, I've asked you here for a big reason. An important reason. You know now that we are in phase two of the Apocalypse Implementation Program. Now, we found ourselves in quite a bind during phase one when one of our long-held upper management positions suddenly opened up. You're avoiding me. No, I'm fine. I'm avoiding you. That's mature. Says the kettle. So why? I was trying to avoid an awkward conversation like this one. No, I mean, why won't you go out with me? I already told you. Actually, you didn't. You muttered something about British Time Lords and then shut the door in my face. British-sounding Time Lords. Time Lords can't be British. Not entirely the point. You're my boss. Which is a technicality, not you saying you're not interested. Fine. I'm not interested. <laughs> I don't believe you. What the hell is going on in here? This is not what it looks like. Mackenzie, can you give us a minute? No, Mackenzie, please. Don't leave. I, like, th this is not... What? I mean, we, this is not what? He kissed me. I said no. Looks like you were quite convincing. I would never do anything to intentionally hurt you.